Welcome back to KG Gaming, guys. In today's video, we're playing Red Dead Redemption. And so listen, guys, you know how in the game you can do certain upgrades that, you know, helps out your character and gives you kind of perks? Well, I did until about two hours ago. But today, I'm thinking I'm going to get those upgrades. The first upgrade is going to be a satchel. Right now, old son, old son Arthur has a decent satchel, but I think you can actually upgrade and get a better satchel. So it looks like I got a couple different uh, satchels. I have a tonic satchel. I'm not exactly sure which one's the best though i do know that the legend of the east is the best but i just don't know which one of these is the best to go for or if they all have the same perks you know what let me just look it up real quick that'll take a lot of time to get the wrong one okay so check it out according to google depending on which satchel you choose it doubles your carrying capacity for which one you choose so for example the valuable satchel will double your something other of value you know i think i'm just gonna try to do this one valuables yeah yeah sure why not i don't know or actually if we're gonna be honest Honest, that's gonna take a lot of time. That may be a video all in of itself. Anyways, we'll be on the lookout for a perfect rabbit. We'll be on the lookout for a perfect beaver and a perfect deer. Those three shouldn't be too awfully hard, but in the process, I gotta get rich, baby. I gotta get rich. A satchel is not the only thing KG needs to upgrade, okay? I need to upgrade my weaponry. Apparently, if I get different holsters and stuff, I can hold more ammo and like my guns don't wear as bad. So like, listen, I'm a stinking gunslinger, okay? Over the last few episodes, it is true that I've tried to be a bad guy, but it is also true that in these last few recent episodes, I've decided, you know what? That's just not my gig, okay? That ain't for me. Nevertheless, it's never a bad thing to have more ammo than you need. Today's mission is to one, get stinking rich, and two, spend all that money on things that can help me in the game. Now, Little Birdie, also known as the YouTube video I watched at lunch, told me where I can find something very valuable very easily. And it is right down here, right here, beside this little abandoned town beside camp. Apparently, there is an abandoned village and there's like stuff there that we could just go take. What is that? Is that a, is that a three-star rabbit? If it is, it's dead now. Oh, nope. We'll kill it anyhow. Uh-oh, looks like we got some guy down here. What's he doing? How you doing, old hey, son? What you up this. to? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look wow, he found this, flower. Congrats, my man. Nah, I don't really need none of that stuff. What I do need is this burnt down abandoned village. Let's check this bad boy out. Let's just get off and start looking around. There's some pretty valuable stuff around here, apparently. There is absolutely nothing right here. Anyways, long story short, I'm not beating around the bush anymore. Apparently, there's a $500 gold bar right over here in uh, this sheriff's office. So let's go and see if that's actually true. It better be. Otherwise, I'm going to be pretty mad. Apparently, there's something over here. A drawer. Awesome. Is that a gold bar here or not? I need to know. Oh, heck yeah, baby. Stinky gold bar. Let's go, baby. And some horse stimulant. Okay, one time. Let's think and go. Here's the thing. We can't just sell that gold bar to anybody. We have to go to the people who buy stolen stuff. So we're going to have to go up to uh, Emerald Ranch. Yeah, that's what it is. And sell it to a fence. This guy buys stuff that probably shouldn't be sold. But that's fine with me because I need cash. All right, horsey. Also, we got my horsey, LeBron James. She's back, baby. Watch her jump over at box. Ooh. Okay, cool. I'll catch y'all whenever we get there. We'll see how much money we can actually come up with. All right, boys. We have officially arrived at the, uh, uh, I don't know, dude. I forgot his name. But he buys stuff that's illegal. What's your worry, my man? Me. I'm just trying to sell stuff, my guy. Oh, my goodness. Dude, where did I get $262 from? Dang, son. I'm going to sell you a bunch of stuff, okay? Um, what is it that I want to sell you again? 500 bucks. Oh, my gosh. That's what I want. Sell that thing. I'm rich. Let's go. 12 bucks. Heck yeah, I'll sell them to you. Take them off my hands. I don't want them. Hey, you want to just buy all this? I ain't got no need for that. Yeah, take everything I got, my guy. Take everything I got that's worth anything. Dude, I'm sitting on 850 bucks. Dude, I'm thinking rich, baby. Let's go. Now that I am rich, I've got a couple things I want to do. Number one, I want to go to the gun store in Valentine. I want to upgrade all my weapons. I want to put a scope on my gun because I didn't know I could do that until today at lunchtime. I want to buy holsters, bandoliers, all that stuff to get me more ammo, and then I want to take my horsey to the shop and get her fixed up to where she can run faster and regenerate health quicker, all that good stuff. Let's head up here to Valentine, baby. We will do a little hunting on the way, though. Hold up, unless these are three-star deer. Oh, and it is, it is, it is. All right, I have the fastest horsey in the game. I should be able to catch up to those deer and lasso them with no problem at all. 
Come got it. Now we just got to lasso it, walk up nice and easy, stab that thing right in the neck, and then it will have a perfect pelt with no bullet holes in it. Isn't that so awesome? Now we have to skin this thing, then we can take it back to Pearson, and now honestly, now we only need the beaver pelt and a perfect rabbit, which may be a little hard because I do got to headshot it with a bow or something. I don't know. But yeah, we're one third of the way through. Let's go ahead on to Valentine, and if we see a perfect rabbit, we'll take it out. I'll catch you guys in Valentine. <laughs> Guess what? Something happened. They're robbing a stinking train but not on my stinking watch. How about that, big boys? Who's the bad guys? Who's next? Where you at? Who's next? There you go. You ain't getting away from me. You ain't robbing a train and taking prisoners on my watch. Oh, heck no. You ain't getting away with that. That's nice. I can't shoot today, ain't it? My golly, look at all the X's. How many people did they kill on that train? Anyways, we're gonna head on to Valentine. It's starting to get dark. Just like last time. <laughs> Oh, I think my horse just died. Oh, no, she's okay. All right, guys, I will catch you guys in Valentine. But like I said, if something happens, like it probably will, I'll get back to you then. Okay, looks like we're waking up. I, you know, it was nighttime, so I built a fire. We are literally right above Valentine. So now I just had to figure out how to get the heck off this mountain and get down there. Anyways, in the meantime, while I am trying to get down there, I want to give you guys a promo code for kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. If you don't know, that's where all my merch is. As you can see, it's kindlegrade1.com or first link in the description. But here's the deal, guys. Since you guys watch the gaming channel, I want to give you guys 10% off whatever you want on the website. Just use promo code GAMING10, all caps. You can get knives on there. You can get masks that actually look cool and are comfortable. Just saying. KG shirts, backpacks, fanny packs, more KG shirts, hats, tackle boxes. If you really like hunting... You can get hunting gloves. You can get hunting shirts. You can get a flashlight for whenever it's really dark outside. Hats, hats, more hats, shirts, shirts, more shirts, survival knife. That's a good one. But anyways, guys, anything you want on the website, gaming10, all caps, first link in the description. Check it out. If you want to, you don't have to. I ain't gonna force you, but please do. Anyways, in Valentine, we have a couple stops. First stop, the gun store. Second shop, the um, horse store or something. Stable. I don't know. Whoa! Horsey! You about ran into a train! Train, my guy. But now we have about 900 bucks and we're gonna blow it every single penny of it in this episode. Welcome. Show me the catalog, old son. Ah, let's get to spending money. So there's a lot of things I wanna do. One, I gotta have some shotgun slugs. Two, I gotta pretty much buy every accessory I possibly can. The upgraded bandolier permanently increases ammo for repeater rifle shotgun for Any 50%. I'm buying it. Upgraded holster permanently slows degradation. That means I have to clean it less. I'm buying it. Upgraded gun belt. I'm buying that. Oh, here's some guns, but they seem to all be locked. I'll probably unlock them later in the campaign if I had to imagine. I already have that gun. I ain't buying another one. Yeah, I've pretty much got all the guns already. We're customizing now. The pump action shotgun. Let me go ahead and upgrade this. All right, first things first. Clean that bad boy. Perfect. Now components. Barrel. Ooh, okay. Do we want to mess with the length? Okay, that adds some accuracy. Ah, let's go. Rifling. Oh, does increase the range. I do like my shoddy. All right, what else we got? The stock. Does this help at all? I don't think it helps out the stats. Just saying. I don't think I'm going to buy it. The wrap. This will help. Does this really not help anything? Yeah, I am going to get a wrap because I'm pretty sure it slows down the wear on your gun. I can get metal engravings? Oh, I can get them different colors? Nah, I'm good. Wait a minute. That does look nice. But I'm not going to do it because it doesn't help my accuracy at all. I'm just going to go through a bunch of these and pretty much just make everything better. Scope. This is what I want. I can get a stinking scope. It's 20 bucks. But listen, 20 bucks is gonna help me a lot. Except on this gun, since I do like it, let's be honest. I think I wanna buy this for 250. Check out that gun, that's kinda sick. Long story short, I'm gonna do this to all the guns. Then after this, we're gonna go down to the horse stable and upgrade with what money I have left. All right, guys, we uh, still have about 300 left, which is crazy. Did we just spend $500 at a gun store? The good thing is that I didn't spend any money on things that wouldn't help me in game. So let me manage my own horses. This thing's speed has potential to be all the way up. Is Jeff faster than LeBron James? You know, LeBron, I love you and everything, and I could save 240 
but I don't really want to sell you for 240 but I do want to switch y'all out, okay? I do want to ride Jeff a little bit and try to get it to level four. That's Let's go ahead and upgrade LeBron. Saddle. We want you know, the best saddle. Now, I'm pretty sure I have money to buy whichever saddle I want to, so I'm going to get on my phone on Google once again. I'm going to see which saddle's the best, and I'll tell you what I find out. All right, so apparently the Gurdon Vaquero saddle, which is this one right here, is apparently the best, which I believe it's also the most expensive, which is totally fine. I want to get a blue saddle because it kind of matches the horse. Y'all see that? Like, it kind of matches the horse's... I don't even know what you'd call that. I just bought an epic saddle. Horns? I believe that's the thing you hold on to. Let me see which horn is the best. Okay, apparently the horns don't matter. Blankets maybe don't matter. And I don't think bed rolls matter either. So I think I pretty well got the best thing I could. And without further ado, boys, Jeff is back. We traded out LeBron James for Jeff right here. LeBron James being the white horse I tamed. Jeff being the one that I originally got at the beginning of the game. And apparently it's even faster, which I had no idea. Let's get it, horsey. Anyways, me and horsey, we're just going to ride around a little bit. I think that's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and subscribe because we have a ton more hunting Red Dead Redemption yeah. videos coming out. Click right over here if you want to see the time we're actually tamed LeBron James, which is the white horse, or right over here for all of my Red Dead Redemption videos.